So I just wanted to do another video and this one's going to be talking about trauma bonding and trauma bonding is kind of, it stems from the origins of childhood trauma. So when a parent is being excessively hostile or um, there's a parent with highly abusive and stuff like this, um, you often see these times where um, even though a parent is you know, violently, like physically abuse a child or emotionally abuse a child, where the parent has to be taken away from the, the actual child or the child has to move or something like this, um, the child will still cry and latch on to the parents' uh, love and affection and stuff like this and they'll still want them uh, despite them being highly abusive. And what ends up happening is because it is actually a human need to actually have love and validation and stuff like this to healthy levels, um, that what happens is oftentimes when we have this kind of really warped relationship template, um, often referred to that as kind of the relationship you've had with your parents, kind of sets the standard then for the next relationships you have in your life and um, you know, if you've been raised and been socially conditioned to find abuse normal and it's been completely normalized and um, what you'll have to do what well, I refer to it is that you have to detribalize yourself now detribalize means to actually forge a new identity away from your cultural personality it's kind of a term I think it was, um, Joseph Campbell actually came up with and um, what ends up happening when you don't fully detribalize and kind of um, kind of unplug from the matrix so to speak is you end up carrying this very warped perception of what an actual healthy relationship is supposed to look like. So what ends up happening is a lot of a lot of people where they've been very neglected, they've suffered uh, you know, a series of abandonment traumas and stuff like this, and they've been very invalidated their whole life to the point now, however their parent treated them is how now they're treating themselves. And then now they're, because of confirmation bias, which basically means whatever you believe, you find evidence for. If you believe that you, you, know, you shouldn't have your own feelings, that you, you know, abuse is normal, unconsciously, you'll actually attract that in a relationship and that will again feel normal. Uh, you were actually kidding, conditioned to feel uh, that abuse was the, the gold standard in the relationship. So we end up going around kind of with these kind of unusual kind of uh, you know, self-destructive beliefs around relationships and stuff like that. And it's only until you really start deconditioning and actually reprogramming uh, the subconscious mind to know what is healthy and what to look out for in relation and what are the red flags and stuff like this. Um, so trauma bonding uh, usually occurs that when we suffer a series of maybe attachment traumas or injuries or something like this, and now it's kind of a, it's kind of manifesting itself in our kind of personal intimate relations and stuff like that. So things to keep out of, and I've talked about this a lot of videos, is narcissistic abuse and looking out for the very uh, you know red flags at the early stage relationship. Um, you know, kind of monitoring almost um, at the intensity of the relationship. Is it moving excessively quick? Um, are you constantly being put down? Are uh, you having shame attacks every five seconds, emotional flashbacks? You know, the, the list goes on. I've kind of covered a lot of ground in my videos. So um, trauma bonding, generally speaking, is when you've, you've over been bonded to a host that has been parasitic, that has required a lot of your time and attention, and also has been highly abusive in return, that it's not been this reciprocal, balanced relationship. So oftentimes you find as well, um, I want to talk about this as well as the victim identity, which we might talk about in a different video. But with the victim identity, when you, you've been so conditioned to be that victim role your whole life, you'll constantly attract offenders around you. And that will feel normal. That is reconfirming back the identity you were given when you were younger. So that's why we have to really detribalize on what we think uh, we're conditioned to believe about the world around us and people and this and that, and also about ourselves. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Subscribe and talk to you soon.